During a colorectal surgery, a physician removes a cancerous growth from the tail of the pancreas. In order to reach this anatomical structure, which of the following ligaments must the surgeon first identify? A. Hepatoduodenal ligament. B. Falciform ligament. C. Gastrohepatic ligament. D. Gastrosplenic ligament. Or E. Splenorenal ligament. Pause the video if you need some time to think about this question. And if you're ready for my explanation, here we go. So the first thing that you need to do when approaching this question is to think, what is it that they're asking me? And what they're asking you in this question is, obviously you've got these five GI ligaments. Each of these ligaments contains different structures. And they're asking you to figure out which one of these ligaments contains the tail of the pancreas. So we highlight that in red. And because that's what the question is asking, the correct answer for this particular question is E, the splenorenal ligament. So in order to get this question right, what you need to know are where the different ligaments are in the abdomen and what structures are contained in each of those ligaments. And in order to learn that, you've got two choices. You can do brute memorization or you can refer to certain diagrams. So this is the diagram that I'm talking about. These are all of the ligaments in the GI system. And if you were to put on your surgeon goggles for a second, I know all you gunners out there think that you're gonna be surgeons. So the field that you could be looking at in the future might look something like this. And as you can see, this is an example of the hepatoduodenal ligament but in each of those different ligaments, there are very vital structures contained in them. And for whatever reason, on USMLE step one and COMLEX level one, and level two, level three, step two, step three, and beyond, they've, the test writers love asking you what structures are in all of these different ligaments. And if you're looking at the list, then you can see that there are, you know, I've given you five answer choices, but there are actually six ligaments that you need to memorize. So for whatever reason, because this is so high yield, I've decided to generate a question for this video question bank series. And the question that you should be asking yourself is what is contained within each of these ligaments? Because after all, you'll have to memorize that material if you want to get this question right. So, we're going to go through this chart. On the left side, you see the six different ligaments that you need to know. And on the right side of the chart, we will fill in the structures that are contained within each of these six ligaments. So let's sort of just go through these one at a time. The falciform ligament, what does it contain? It contains ligamentum teres hep hepatis and patent paraumbilical veins if they're present. The hepatoduodenal ligament contains the proper hepatic artery, the portal vein, and the common bile duct. The gastrohepatic ligament contains the gastric vessels. The gastrocolic ligament contains the gastroepiploic arteries. The gastrosplenic ligament contains the short gastrics and the left gastroepiploic vessels. And the splenorenal ligament contains the splenic artery, the splenic vein, and the tail of the pancreas. Now, obviously, you see in this chart that the splenorenal ligament contains the tail of the pancreas, and that was the bit of information that was given to you in the clinical vignette for this particular question. So in this question, you know, I, I told you that the physician is, wants to remove the cancerous growth from the tail of the pancreas, but first, what ligament does he have to identify, which therefore is my way of asking you in this question, which of these ligaments contains the tail of the pancreas? So they'll give it to you in one way or the other. They'll give you the structure and ask for the ligament, or they'll give you the ligament and ask for the structure. And this is a lot of information that's kind of annoying to memorize. I, I, I totally understand that. So I don't have a ton of mnemonics here, but I do have a couple things that might simplify this for your learning. So let's go through those now. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the falciform ligament. So I told you that within the falciform ligament, you have the ligamentum teres hepatis and if present, patent paraumbilical veins. And what the, probably the higher yield portion of this one is the ligamentum teres hepatis. So the way that you can remember that is that instead of saying falciform ligament, if you say the word falciform, like you have a lisp and you say falciform, 
Well, the TH in falciform is the TH in teres hepatis, and that's how I memorized it, which was always hilarious when I was studying. The next one that's um, kind of easy, but there's one mnemonic that I have that goes with it is the splenorenal ligament. So the splenorenal ligament contains the splenic artery, the splenic vein, and the tail of the pancreas. Now, first of all, splenic artery and splenic vein should be pretty simple because this is the only ligament with splen, S-P-L-E-N, in the name. The question is, how do you memorize tail of the pancreas? Because that's a pretty high yield association with this ligament. Because of all the ligaments, the only bit that really is of the pancreas goes with the splenorenal ligament. And in the name splenorenal, you would first probably think that, well, this has something to do with the spleen, maybe it has something to do with the kidney, but you know, where's the tail of the pancreas coming from? So the way that you should memorize this is that this has to do with everything splen, right? Splenorenal. So the splenic artery, the splenic vein, and now here's the stupid mnemonic, Splenda. So for those of you who don't know, Splenda is an artificial sweetener. So it's like sugar. And the pancreas is involved in diabetes. So if you have too much Splenda, then you might have a problem with the tail of the pancreas because you'll get diabetes. I know that's really stupid, but it fits, right? Splenda for sugary sweetener, diabetes, pancreas. Splenic artery, splenic vein, because splen o renal. Unfortunately, I don't have really great mnemonics for the other four ligaments, but if you know these two, you're probably in good shape because if you go back to the list of the other ligaments, gastrohepatic, gastrocolic, gastrosplenic, they, they tell you somewhat where those ligaments run, right? The gastric area to the hepatic area, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can infer if you have to take a guess what are involved in those ligaments, but splenorenal and falciform is a little bit more challenging. So remember falciform, TH for teres hepatis, and all of the splen splenic artery, splenic vein, and splenda for pancreatic tail because the pancreas is involved in diabetes and splenda is an artificial sweetener. That's it, guys. This is the High Yield Video Question Bank. Remember to know the structures anatomically that are contained within all of the GI ligaments. I don't know why it's high yield, but it is. And if you're not a surgeon, you'll never use this in your life. But hey, that's medicine for you. Until next time, it's been a pleasure. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to check out my Patreon link, which you can find in the description of any of my videos. Your support of my channel is so much appreciated. Stay safe.